Valentine, good morning. I'm so glad to see you. And guess what? Great news. Zelda is expecting. She is now pregnant. Zelda is going to be a wonderful, very happy zebra mama. And she and Zoro have paired up and they are making their, their little family. Zoro is having a little bit of an issue. He's so distracted with mating that he won't really focus on food, water, exercise, things like that. So hopefully he'll be able to start focusing on that pretty soon. We'll put down some celebratory carrots in a few different places. There we go. See, celebratory carrots. Wonderful. And today, in turn, we are going to be working a little bit more on this part of the zoo. We're going to try to move... Oh no! Lemur! Lemur sick! Lemur is sick! Why are you out of your exhibit? <laughs> oh no! Okay, quick little glance. Don't see escape lemur. Oh, there's some poop. Sorry, ma'am. She walked right in it in turn. She walked right in it. Oh, and speaking of poop, I guess while we're searching for escape lemurs, we can actually uh, stop and check on our compost pile, which should be making us some good money about now. Oh, look at the cute little, I never noticed this cute little giraffe slide actually had like giraffe legs. Somehow that has always, in all the years I've been doing this, slipped my attention and that is just absolutely adorable. <gasps> Look, there's a kid on the playground. I love watching the kids on the playground. Yay, you do that, young kid. You tap into your primate history, open up those epigenetic potentials, try to make sure that you work out, keep your muscles flowing, play. Don't lose your sense of play, even as an adult. Very important, very important indeed. We should make more playgrounds in turn. I love having playgrounds for the kids. Just look at how happy they are. Aww. Yeah, we'll definitely have to make some more playgrounds. Also, our fennec foxes and meerkats are, are complaining quite a bit. Oh yes, and the horse is finally pregnant. That's taken forever and a day, no joke. All right, where are you going? Let's see, our, our compost heap has recently been emptied. Good to see there's just a teensy bit of poop in here. All right, and you guys doing okay? As okay as they can, I suppose. We'll have to come in and help out and continue our, our redecoration another time. For now, it doesn't look like there's any more escape lemurs, which makes me happy. And we're going to start moving meerkats. And in fact, meerkat 39 has just become pregnant. Look at all the meerkats. <laughs> it's time in turn. It is definitely time to start sorting out the meerkat uh, colonies. Normally they would actually separate um, by now. When meerkat groups get too big, then they kind of branch off into their own little mobs and they'll go, go off and do their own thing depending on uh, what the lead female, what the lead male. Usually it's like one mated pair that leads the group of meerkats. The other meerkats can mate too, but that definitely doesn't make the mated pair very happy. But I think we'll catch meerkat number 39 and we're going to bring her over here. A little bit different than their normal type of exhibit, but I think they'll be okay. And we're going to grab her mate, meerkat number 25. And there we go. We should give them names. This one's going to be Apollo. And this one's going to be Daisy. Just because it's the first thing that comes to mind. And so we'll move them. And I think we'll move Daisy's sister and we'll name her Pansy. And we're going to start keeping track of some of these like little little setups. So Pansy will come over to... Nope, this is Warthogs. So we want her over here. Pansy will come on over. She's got some kids of her own. She's got a mate of her own. We'll move over her mate as well. He's moving as part of a pack. And let's see. Her kids? How old are her kids? Did we babies? Oh, they're wee babies! Alright, we'll move over to wee babies too. Meerkats are very good at taking care of their their family members as well. They're very good at like uh, taking care of the whole group, which is something I've always thought was very interesting. They keep like really strict requirements for the whole group, but they will take care of the whole group. Little itty bitty baby meerkats. Oh, they're so cute. Alright, let's see. Oh, this Meerkat 36 has kids? Okay, then it's a full-grown adult. It can stay over here. And now we're just going to have to randomly grab some other Meerkats. Meerkat 34, you don't have a mate, so you can come with me. Uh, uh, wait, are you a baby? No, you're not a baby. All right, you can come over here. 
and this will be like a whole new, a whole new little, little group of meerkats. We might have to adopt out some of the other groups because it's just so many, so many. But they'll have a lot more room to roam over here. I kind of want to give these guys a much bigger exhibit too. I'm really tempted because I love meerkats. I think they're just absolutely freaking adorable. But they are territorial. You know, they'll stay in groups of like up to 30 or more. There's even like super mobs that will get pretty big. But it's kind of food dependent. Once food starts getting strained, then everybody starts scattering. Meerkat sentry post! Oh my gosh, yes! Yes! So cute! Alright, we'll put that down so that they can have a little sentry post. Um, let's see, what else? Scrub rock formation. No. No. But let's do... Let's see, small scrub burrows, a cutting den. Whoa, that's huge. Large snow cave. They can have this giant thing. That's more for like big cats. I think a large scrub burrow, uh, like under the tree, would actually be perfect for them. And meerkats are very interesting because they live in very intricate tunnel systems underground. And that's what a burrow is, is a very intricate tunnel system underground. And uh, it keeps them really cool during the hot days because it's very, very hot where they live. So when they have their little tunnel systems, they're underground, up to six feet underground, six feet or more underground. And that keeps them uh, nice and cool during the hottest point of the day. And it also gives them a lot of protection from predators. Hawks and eagles and big predators like that are some of their, their main predators. They actually eat snakes. They like to eat, um, well, attack and kill snakes. They eat like lizards, bugs, fruit, little, little bits of roots. That's why we're putting some of the roots down for them. We'll have to scatter them around in a few places. They eat lots of insects. So let's see if we can get more of their food. There we go, a little termite mound with insects. One of my favorites. There we go. We'll have to put down more grass later. I love these little termite mounds. They're just so cute. All right, but of course I would think termites are cute. Not everyone is of the same opinion. I can appreciate that. All right, let's plant some African daisies back where those popped up. And a few over here to provide a little bit of cover for the meerkats. There we go. There we go. And I want to mix in some of the red oak grass. Gives it that nice darker coloring in turn. And remember, and I'm always reminding you of this, but don't forget, when we are working in a zoo, it's an enclosed environment that will have more of an abundance of the native plants and animals than you would normally expect in an area. Like the meerkats have a much more foliated exhibit, many more plants, that is, because they do fine with it. In real life, they may not have as many plants out in the wild, but here we're able to provide them with more plants, and I'm sure they're not opposed to it because it's probably just nice and relaxing to have like more shade to be in. All right, that should be good. And there's insects scattered everywhere too. All right, and they have their little burrow. All right, hopefully that'll help. Oh my gosh, what's up with this zebra? Why does it look different than the other zebras? Oh, it's just because it's moving? No, it does look different. Do they all look different? Oh, that's so cool. I never noticed that. I think they look subtly different, but this one looks really different. I'm gonna name her, let's see, we have Zelda and Zoro. Xena, because she looks really cool. Xena with an I, and then we can have Xena with an E. Hi guys, welcome, welcome. Hope you guys enjoy. I know it's a new area. Um, look at the baby, the baby's like, what's going on? They've gotta do their sentry. When they stand up like that, they're kind of looking around themselves and trying to get a good view of what's going on. Um, and then they'll make special noises at each other. They'll chirp, they'll talk, they'll communicate to let like their, their fellow members know, hey, there's a hawk coming, hide, and things like that. Hi guys. Did you know they also love scorpions? Scorpions are one of the favorite snacks of meerkats. And scorpion mama, or scorpion mamas, meerkat mamas, will actually go and they will get uh, scorpions and bite the stinger off of the tail to feed it to their young. There we are. Some happy meerkats. They're sniffing around. I think they'll be just fine. That's good. Oh, much better. Hmm. Lemur is really thirsty. You doing okay, little buddy? You're just sitting there. You're pregnant, too. You need some water, ma'am. You need a bit of water. Come on. 
on, Sweeney. Going to investigate the sleeping basket. You're not, you're not sleepy. You're thirsty. Please drink some water. Not the least. <laughs> oh dear, these guys, I swear. I swear. We seem to have helped him out quite a bit. Let's try to help him out even more by smoothing this train out a little bit in turn. Is there anything more we can do here? I think that's about it. Hmm. Warthog 29 is now pregnant. Warthog 30 has given birth. Zebra Doiker is really thirsty. Look at all the monkey trees. Oh my gosh, they love these monkey trees. I think it was a good idea just to put a whole bunch of them down. Even though I do feel like we need to come in here and add in like actual trees now. Okay, Meerkat 29. Can't reach the dish, we'll move it. There we go. And then just while we have a second, Meerkat 18 has given birth. Finnick Fox. We're having some trouble with the Finnick Foxes being really hungry. Challenging, that would be why. Alright, we'll have to dot that one out. It's it's challenging some of the others. When they get in that mood, they just they'll starve to death. What? I forgot about this part. Meerkats like tunneling. They may escape. They are escape artists. We may be replacing that fencing. We'll keep an eye on the situation. Come on, little lemur. Oh, you know, it's a huge zoo and we're always so busy here. But you know when all of a sudden your attention just hones in on like one specific animal and you're so worried about them? Come on, come on, sweetie. Get a good drink. Come on. You're so thirsty, sweetheart. Why won't you drink? I'm gonna... There, I chucked you in the water. Drink! Please. She's like, ah! Okay, I guess she did not appreciate us just throwing her in the water. Why won't you get a drink? Looking at the monkey tree. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It is a full-time job to keep this area clean. Lemurs are very, like, poopy animals. I had not quite realized that. The good thing is we're making, like, lots of money off of them. <laughs> and because they are said very poopy animals. Alright. Come here, one of you. I need to know which biome, like, trees you prefer. Uh, da -da -da -da. Temperate grassland. Let's see. Where are we? Come here. One of, one of you. Come here. So many of these guys. What about you? I don't think you really prefer temperate grassland. Alright, what about you? Come here, Gabriel. Glad to know Gabriel's doing better at least. Okay, all of you are just like fibbing to me. <laughs> Curse you coding. Alright, let's see. But what would we find under grassland? If that's what you guys want, let me see what kind of trees I can find. Burr oak trees. Hmm. Sacred figs. Orange trees. Well, an orange tree. I can I can see the point of an orange tree. It's a nice, beautiful citrus tree, actually. So we'll go ahead and we'll put some of those down here. There you go, little guys. There you go. What do you think? I'll even put some over here. Oh, there we go. Now this one actually has oranges on it. Yeah, that should appeal to you guys. There. It'll be like they, they were eating fruit up in their tree and the seeds and everything fell out. Either from their poop, which is a way that animals really do spread uh, spread seeds, or just like over time, like of them dropping it. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll put down a few burr oaks. I dislike them having such an empty exhibit for so long. All right, what do you guys think? Do you like your nice big burr oaks? They're, they're very attractive plants, I'll admit that. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this little sentry post because they don't seem to enjoy it very much and they very, very, very much seem to enjoy uh, the company of the monkey trees instead. All right, now I'm not really a big fan of those little trees, so I'll remove that one. The lemurs are giving birth left and right, so I guess it's a great thing that we're taking a minute again to get some trees in for them. All right, enough of these temperate grassland ones. Uh, you know, that one's kind of tempting, a, ni a nice box elder. And let's see what we can find. Tropical rainforest. There we go. Alright, banana trees. Ooh, banana trees! We should do a nice little cluster of banana trees. Kind of the same thing. And lots of nice fruit trees spread around. Here we go. See, like, they're eating bananas down here. So I imagine we would have some banana trees, like, spread about. And then, ooh, elephant ear tree. Yeah! One of those big old trees again. 
that we want to provide plenty of shade and also branches. You gotta think branches for these guys. So there's like room for them to move above, like up, up in the, the air. All right, hopefully they won't use that tree to climb out. There we go. I feel much better about this area. I just want it to be thick with trees. Imagine that. I know it's a shock. A shock. I want plants everywhere. Ooh, King Sago. Interesting. That's one of our extinct plants. We'll, we'll consider that after we start working again. Ooh, a big old K-Pok, huh? You know what? We'll do a couple of these. Ringtail Lemur 12 is sick because she's stubborn as all get out. That's why. And one more for luck, the triad. I feel much better about the lemur exhibit now. Mm-hmm. All right, let's jump in and let's see if we can tend to... Oh, look at how cool this looks now. Oh, you guys are going to love it. There you go. Happy little lemurs. Hopefully some happy doikers. Scooching around. Let's see if we can find lemur... Okay. Where are you? Lemur number nine is really thirsty. Why are you eating fruit if you're really thirsty? For crying out loud! Are, is there just not enough like little water bowls? I guess we're just gonna have to like put down a whole bunch of them. We should make a watering hole. Um, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and make a watering hole kind of right in the middle of the exhibit then. So yeah, like we kind of have one started right here. They should be able to reach these just fine. Nobody should be complaining. Look at him, sound asleep on his back, hands on his belly, head just sticking in the water bowl while it's being refilled. Decadence, absolute decadence. That's adorable. All right, well. Okay, hang on, whoopsie daisy, okay. Lots going on. Ringtail lemur 23 is really thirsty, why? Here, come over here. Alright, I'm gonna put you in a little crate. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, and get something to drink. Look, you're sitting in the food bowl, or in the water bowl. You're sitting in it. Reach down, scoop the water to your mouth. Come on, come on, turn around. Water, water everywhere. Well, it's only like three of the lemurs. I have like three defective lemurs. Okay, no, I'm gonna adopt you out, sweetie. Okay, you... You too. And... You as well. Maybe they'll just do better if we send them like to another area. Why is everybody so thirsty? Do they want this water? They won't drink from it. Do I need to make it like smoother? The mystery of these lemurs. And I need to check on my meerkats to see how they're adjusting uh, to the new area too. Let's see, rainforest rocks. There's my shovel. Sorry, intern. I'm I'm just like a little bit flustered because it's like these lemurs. Why? I'm worried about them. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that'll help. And we'll just have to see what goes on. There. All right. What about you? I'm gonna send you with the others. Maybe, maybe they need to go live in a water park, for crying out loud. Whew, there we go. All right, wonderful. Ooh, and one of the giraffes is now pregnant. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. And we still haven't even had any time to work on the project. Oh, I thought that was... <gasps> it is a meerkat. I see you. I see you. You're going to make me have to redo my entire, my entire exhibit, aren't you? Aren't you? Get back in there. If they can get out, they, they better be able to figure out a way to get back in. I'm kind of tempted. We're going to casually slip a termite mound with insects over here as a decorative piece. Just in case. I, I If they will be okay having escaped, I wouldn't be opposed to having wild packs of roaming meerkats wandering around as long as they can take care of themselves. <laughs> oh, what an oddity. What an oddity. Alright, and then let's get a little bit of sod down. Tropical, tropical, temperate, temperate, tropical. Where's my savanna? Savanna, savanna. There we go. Tropical savanna. And fix this. Where they've been digging their way out. I'm watching you, you guys. Why are all my lemurs dying of thirst? You're surrounded by things. Oh, my gosh. 
It's just like a few of them too. It's so confusing. <gasps> What's this kid wearing? Kimberly, look at you! She has on the warthog hat. That is the cutest thing. I've not seen that before. That's adorable. Whew. Well, all right, intern. I'm gonna splash some of this cool water on my my face to try to cool off after the frustrating frustratingness that is attempting to take care of the lemurs. And I'm going to help out with the ever-present piles of poop in our meerkat exhibit. And then I will see you bright and early tomorrow. I do believe we've got most of this well in hand. And everybody should be okay. Except that they're, like, starving of thirst. Also, I think we need to, to split the clan again. So we'll adopt out half the clan in just a little bit, this mob. And, um, let's see. Spurt tortoise just laid an egg. And then the last exhibit we need to check on before we move to the other zoos just for a bit is the forest exhibit actually. So whew, there's a lot to do. And in fact, I think, I think, uh, I think we'll do the coyote before we go too. Cause I said we'd, we'd work on the coyote and I know it'll be just a bit, hi handsome, before we're able to come back, huh? Just a bit. So we'll go ahead and we will work on the coyote exhibit as well. And I will see you bright and early in the morning in turn back here at the zoo. Make sure to wear your good boots and be ready for some pretty hard but exceptionally rewarding work. Bye bye